indomitable spirit, and you have Frederick van der Waal, the international sex symbol who's taken underwear out of the closet and into the spotlight. It's no secret. Frederick's smoldering sensuality helped turn a risque catalog company into a pop culture powerhouse. But not content to sell for someone else, this Dutch diva has become her own boss. Look, the little Frederick label. If you put your name to it, and, and what a chance I have to design your own line. And when she's not busy expanding her portfolio, Frederick lends her charms to the likes of Guess and MCI. You could be saving up to 44% by dialing 1-800-COLLECT-ANGEL. Let me show you how it's done. It's so easy. Now let me show you how it's done. Frederick's incredible drive leads some to the wrong conclusion. Often people think, oh, you're nice. Like, I often hear that. Like, God, I, I thought you would be a bitch or something. But that is one title not on Frederick's resume. My industry, if I look, a lot of girls have you know, gotten in their head, are not very nice to people around them. They know how to turn it on when the right people are there. I hate that. I mean, to me, it's like, you know, everybody is an equal. It's a lesson she learned growing up in The Hague, Holland. Holland is a, is a fantastic country to grow up in. It's very easygoing, it's very liberal. Um, the Dutch uh, people in general are very sort of down to earth and very open-minded uh, about things. And I think it helped me a lot when coming to America. Eventually, she wound up competing in the elite modeling agency's prestigious Look of the Year contest. And the newest star of the international modeling world, Miss Frederica van der Waal from Holland. But the triumph was tempered by tragedy. Around the time of her victory, Frederica's mother and father died suddenly. But grief didn't extinguish Frederic's spirit. Soon she took charge of her business and her life. In the next half hour, the curvaceous capitalist strips down for action. From flexing her muscles at a provocative photo shoot. Hang on, I, I can build something up. <laughs> Wait a second, it's a family magazine. To a revealing tour of her lingerie empire. I've had a few times when friends coming by and like pulling up their things. Look what I'm wearing. So it's great. To her Soho apartment, where she bears more than ever before. Sometimes it depends. I'm just uh, fluttering around the apartment, taking a bath. The world's most tantalizing tycoon demonstrates the power and passion that have made her an icon. Later on, I can show my grandchildren. <laughs> this is when your, ma your grandma looked good. <laughs> Start Monday morning. What are we doing today? We're doing a cover. Oh, God. Oh, wait, let's see. Uh... The cover is for a new magazine, Body by Jake, from fitness guru Jake Steinfeld. But beyond that, the supermodel is surprisingly out of the loop. This is actually a premiere issue of a new magazine, L and Premier, are coming out with. And it's uh, the guy, Jake, Bodies by Jake. And they're basing a magazine around him. And they needed me for the cover. And I don't even know if it's with him or without him. <laughs> this is how they sometimes leave us in the dark. Frederick's wariness comes from spending years in a business that is anything but predictable. God, we live in such a wacky world true, in this yeah. fashion industry. The other day, I had some friends in town, and they were asking about, you know, the models in general and stuff. And people have such with these images, such ideas. And then, you know, and you know of some of these people. I mean, that's not what you want to idolize. It's great at times, but at times it's also, yeah. it's dangerous. Frederick discovers a potential problem, her costumes for the day. Ready? What they have you wearing is brief. Excuse me? I haven't looked at things yet. Look all the way up. Uh-oh. What do you mean it's by... It's a centerfold. <laughs> Concerned, Frederic makes a beeline for wardrobe. Well, I think it's important now to check my little outfits for a second. Is it in here? So it's swimsuits. You're kidding. Well, it's a little bit. We're gonna do like more athletic bottom. Mm -hmm. This one's your top, yeah. Okay. And then, um, but yeah. 
Yeah. Athletic wear for the yeah. body by Jake. <laughs> of course. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. With Frederick's mind still on wardrobe, she meets her co-star for the shoot. And what are you wearing? So, uh, well, I thought I'd wear the, uh... Yeah, the, like a tuxedo? I have no. it. Yes, or else I would go with the, maybe the, the gold lame posing trunk. Oh, good. How wonderful. Cute. While small talk comes easy, a big question remains. Do these stars have chemistry? No. How are you doing, Jake? Hey. I can I can lower the voice. Yeah, you gotta be right here. Exactly. Doing, like, How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Don't quit. <laughs> Don't quit. You gotta go don't, don't quit. Yeah, like, don't quit. No, 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 not, not, you know, throw it off. It's like, just don't quit. You gotta get a look at it. Come on, come on. Come, come, come on, you can do okay. it. Give a look. Don't quit. No, no, get the fingers like that. You gotta get the, this is important. This is just the signature. It's, don't quit. Don't quit. Hey. Done. Done. Perfect. <laughs> you got the job. But getting Jake in her corner is only one of Frederick's challenges. Coming up on Model, the magnificent mogul unveils her latest creations. But first, Frederick gets a little less than she bargained for at the big photo shoot. I think this one is actually better. My breast fit in this one. <laughs> in fact to make her the high priestess of intimate attire her sexy struts for victoria's secret have sent countless admirers rushing to lingerie stores where they might just find frederick's own brand of provocative panties though estimated to be a millionaire this comely captain of industry isn't letting up today she's posing for the cover of a new magazine body by jake with the irrepressible jake steinfeld it's a classic beauty and the beast setup but will it be magic or mayhem. Good. Do you like yeah. it? And now all the outfits, and I'm gonna close the door and I show you later. <laughs> no, it's fine. Love the socks. Uh, no. <laughs> this is the first outfit, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna try and see what I think of it and check it and see you. Okay? Well, I'm gonna look for another one too. Well, I think this one is actually better. My breast fit in this one. <laughs> While Frederique struts her stuff, Jake explains why she's not just another buxom babe. The reason why we're using her now on the cover it's not that she's great looking and not that she's tall and fantastic, but she's a business person and that she has a great entrepreneurial spirit. While the stars primp, famed photographer Gilles Ben-Simon plans. He is particularly excited about working with the legendary Freddie for the first time. Mr. Dumont, ready for my clothes. And here's Jake behind you. And Jake's also ready. Ta-da-da! -da. Yeah. Hang on, I, I can build something up. <laughs> Wait a second, it's a family magazine. Soon, the two show-offs are in their natural habitat, the spotlight. <laughs> are you warm enough? Yeah. I should be warm enough from an arm fight. About me, don't ask me. Gilles approaches with Polaroids. These are the moments Frederic savors. I like always to see the end product. It's so funny. Like, I already imagine it, seeing it on the stand. We are trying to fix our cover. We have too much space in between us. You know, us. You know, good? Yeah, yeah you guys look great. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need some, yeah closer. Get closer. Coming a little more. Yeah, like that, that's good. That's you keep uh, Even more. Oh, no, yeah, no, that, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's not. That's even much better. That's good. So really what it's all about no. is get a great shot of Frederic. So if it's really that great, they could just slice me out and then it's just Frederic. You see, now that's what we're looking okay. at. That's magnificent. I didn't want to say it. Thank you. At last, Frederic gets enough of a break to discuss her formula for fitness. 
I mean, coming out of Holland or the European way, we, we, we love sports. So, I mean, that's one thing I've always believed in and I try to do. I mean, I have a bicycle in New York, I rollerblade, I play tennis. And uh, when I go, uh, you know, all the wonderful places I go to, I can bring my racket or I swim. Soon, however, it's back to business. Jake, are you ready? Yes, darling. Yes, darling, I'm on my way. He's pushing supermodel. I'll tell you something. You know, I'm going to my trailer. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Tom. Yeah, it's too much. A lot better. Uh, I'm just wondering. Can you ask him to use this for the inside shot? Uh, like talking. Oh, so just yeah. so we can even make it more so casual. Yeah, no. To create the necessary casual atmosphere, everyone pitches in with a joke. It's all the naked pictures. I don't want anybody on the set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, the shoot and all its worries are over. Frederic's first teaming with photographer Gilles Ben Simon is a success. Done, done, done. We're going to have a little bite. I'm starving. I didn't eat yet. So uh, we're going to go to the Time Cafe. Don't film me now. <laughs> After refueling on salmon tacos, Frederic vies with the producer, who is eager to know the details of her life with hockey great Marc Messier. Nothing. You don't have to tell me too much. Um, oh, look. Because you know me. I, you know, I'm not going like, to press you for sordid details. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a... Uh, he's, he's a wonderful guy. Great guy. And um, I'm very happy. Frederic met the hard-charging Messier at a very special event. We both were involved in this charity called Dishes. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the um, members, co-chair, hosts, everything. And it is, um, it's actually raising awareness with children with HIV and AIDS. Perhaps worried about revealing any more, Frederic calls it a night. Coming up on Model, Frederic offers an intimate glimpse at her scrapbook. Oh, good. You can see a topless picture of me. Then meets up with one of her favorite fellas. I will be. Mm. But first, she leads a guided tour of the wonderful, uninhibited world of lingerie. There's a lot of misconceptions in this business. Often, um, you know, a model is seen as somebody often dumb, uh, no other views on life, they're just being pretty. None of those stereotypes, however, fit model-turned-mogul Frederic van der Waal. By peeling off her outerwear, she helped turn Victoria's secret underwear into a sensation. Frederic then blazed her own trail, opening a string of businesses that bring her an estimated $1 million a year. Now, after helping fitness guru Jake Steinfeld launch a new magazine, Frederic talks candidly about her relationship with Victoria's Secret and offers an inside glimpse of her own ever-expanding empire. I like to be in control very much myself, and I like to do a lot myself. This is where it all happens. This is where I work out of and I design out of. Let me show you. For me, I mean, lingerie has always been a love for me. Not only as, you know, the model and, and, and as, as uh, you know, as just a woman. I've always, when I started with the businesses, the lingerie kind of became a natural. And, of course, as being a Victoria's Secret girl, woman for um, identification, really, of them, um, it helped me along, definitely. Indeed, Freddie's immense success is inextricably tied to Victoria's Secret. Its famed catalog, which frequently features Frederic, reaches 300 million people worldwide. And its runway shows are mammoth media events. While many models would have been content to remain the golden girl of Victoria's Secret, Frederic had other ideas. I've worked with him for uh, almost seven years. So the relationship is very good. There comes a time when, you know, each goes each other's direction. I still work with them, and I, and I love working with them. Frederic's new direction took her from babe to boss. In 1995, she teamed with Jacques Moret, a respected clothing manufacturer, to create her own line called, appropriately enough, Frederic. There's some things that are coming. 
gonna come out for spring actually you see immediately you know it's a little bit we, we're gonna have also um, sort of a peachy colors but I love the white this is one of them. So it's very interesting because people always say like how involved are you and and to me it's something if you put your name to it and, and what a chance I have to design your own life. But as her business grows, Frederic becomes more of a competitor with Victoria's Secret, the company that started it all, and it's still her greatest source of exposure. And one day I hopefully will have uh, my own mail order and it will be competing. But um, no, it, it was. But for me, as as a businesswoman with lingerie, with Frederic, still connected to the Victoria's Secrets, it's it's a very good business point. For now, at least, Frederic and Victoria's Secret are still the best of bedfellows. Coming up, Frederic invites model into her private sanctuary and introduces the man who's been with her through thick and thin. We talk, we laugh. Uh, no, I, I, I. I completely unconditional love. Too sexy at times she don't, and we just have to portray that we feel somewhat sensual. And no one does sensual like Frederique van der Waal, the golden girl of sexy garb. After romping through a magazine photo shoot and sharing the secrets of her corporate success, Frederique opens the door to her home and her most private thoughts. Well, here we are in my private home, or what was private. I wanted it to have that sort of open feeling and that you could move around easily, so if people are cooking, that you can still stay around. I always like that feeling, and that it never sort of closes up. When I found the place also, that is what I really liked. I love art. I mean, that's one of the things I... I uh, I actually even uh, went to the new school for art history and always uh, enjoyed it very much in New York, so of course, the museum, the galleries. When she has a spare moment, Frederic usually unwinds with a book on art and her roommate, Max the Cat. Amazing how quiet it is. Today, Frederic talks about her past, including the death of her parents when she was just a teenager. It affected me, of course, a great deal, and it still affects me a great deal. It made me also very strong and very hard in ways and what I think in the beginning in New York was definitely needed to survive in an industry like the fashion industry so but uh, I still miss them very much so but Frederic was not left alone in the world she's always been close to her younger brother Michael look at the two of us it's funny I look more like a boy it's cute oh good you can see a topless picture of me <laughs> With mom, and I think actually this was in Spain, swimming pool. Look at my brother. <laughs> Soon, it's off to see the grown-up Michal, now an art dealer at Soho's Dylan Gallery. I want to show you one sculpture by a new artist, Barry Ledoux, yeah. and then I want to show you the the three new paintings of Nico Sedgwick. Oh, great. You know, whenever a good piece comes in and I get really excited, this has to be in the family. And I give her a call, and Freddie comes <laughs> by, and. She loves it for a family discount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I become very Dutch and I start negotiating for hours. Exactly. <laughs> Making a molding and forming it around that in halves and then putting it together. And it's, it's I think it's, I, it's I love stunning. It. I, I it's really, stunning. I have to get a good job and then maybe... Uh, <laughs> But even the most avid art lovers need feeding. After finding a Tony spot for lunch, sister and brother settle in to discuss their yeah. relationship. We talk, we laugh. Uh, you know, I, 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 I completely unconditional love. I love her. Oh, that's great. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the lunch becomes a spectacle when paparazzi move in. For Michal, such intrusions are jarring. Sometimes I'm a little shell-shocked about what she has achieved here because I still look at her, you know, Ten years ago, you know, there's photos with little glasses and a little slit in between your teeth. As a dork. Yeah, it's my, you know, it's my <laughs> sister. I don't know any better. And then sometimes it's a shock to see how, how but, I mean, sometimes it's also you. so, so funny how you, like, I mean, we do sometimes a trip or we go somewhere and they send the car and we, we can enjoy it, both of us, in a funny way. Where we laugh at each other and say, oh, look what's happening. What's happening is groundbreaking. From cuddly sex symbol to cunning capitalist, Frederic is proving that beauty and brains make a terrific twosome, and she's not finished yet. I'm 29 years old, so I'm, I can't say I've made it yet. I mean, so many things would still have to be done. 
Still striving and getting stronger with every sexy step, the fabulous Frederique. This half hour show on all the girls, 